hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to go ahead and start margin trading on cex.io and in this video i'm going to show you how to go ahead and take profits set stop loss and how to go ahead and search for a crypto asset on the cex.io platform and it's important for you to note that you can't do um, margin trading on the CEX mobile app. It's a new feature on the CEX and I believe over time they're going to introduce it to the mobile app. If you're actually new to my YouTube channel, consider smashing that subscribe button and also don't forget to leave a like on the video. With that said, let's dive to my computer. Hello guys, as you can see, I'm on my desktop version right now and this is what CEX.io um, desktop application looks like and before i dive into the video you can only do sports trading with cx.io app but on the desktop application you can do so many things like the sports trading margin trading you can use your api you can also do so many things so if you want to go ahead and trade margin trading you just need to come to the product section right here and you click on margin trading and it's going to open the margin trading so most of you you are already familiar with the margin trading interface on bybit kucoin binance and the likes so it might be easy for you guys to navigate through the cx.io margin trading or if you're finding it difficult and you don't know what to do this video is for you up left same section of the um, screen you're going to see where you can actually change between assets the currency pairs you want to trade so if you want to trade PayPay USDT, for example, you just have to search for PayPay USDT. Or let's say, for example, I want to trade Avalanche USDT. I click on Avalanche USDT and it's going, I'm going to see the charts. And you can see right here, this is what the chart looks like right now. So it shows this, uh, this particular coin is in a downward movement. And um, let me explain what margin trading is. Margin trading is different from sports trading. Unlike sports trading, where you can actually go ahead and buy an asset and you can hold it for X amount of time. And if the price increases, you are going to make profits. But when it comes to margin trading, even if the price, even if the price of the coin is increasing or the price of the coin is decreasing, you can make money both ways, right? When it comes to margin trading. And it's also important for you to know that in margin trading, you need to be very very professional when it comes to risk management when it comes to you need to have knowledge of um, technical analysis so you know what you're actually doing with the markets all right so um on this same margin trading the left side the right section you're going to see isolated on um cx io you only have the option to use um isolated you can't change it all right you only have isolated so you can make it of isolated so next one we have is leverage leverage allows you to um is it, most it gives you leverage when it comes to trading and assets all right so if you increase your leverage above 10x it if you increase your leverage above 10x it means you are going to um you can actually make more profits but you're going to have less leverage which means if the price of the coin should go down a little bit you might lose your trade you might lose your whole money all right for that particular trade so that's what leverage is about so you want to make sure you stick with 10x and um below right stick with 10x to um 10x to 5x is okay all right then um, as you can see right here on their leverage, I think their leverage is for this coin is 10x. They don't have, they don't have, they don't support 50x. They don't support 100x, which is really cool and it's good for risk management. For and so next section you have is long and short. Now long um is another term for buy. So if you are if you, if, if you trade sports if you trade on the spot market a lot, you notice what we call buy and what we call sell. So for margin trading, we call it long and we call it short. So long is also under term for buy, short is under term for sell. After that, you're going to notice this order, which is market and limit. Market means you're going to buy at the current market price of an market current market price of an asset. So currently, you can see this current this um crypto pair. This is the current market price. This green bar you are seeing right here on the chart, it indicates the current market price. 
right of this particular asset so if you want to buy with the, at the current market price you click on market you just make use of markets but if you believe the price of this asset is going to come below maybe it's going to come to um 33.35 then you can use the limit and set the price to 33.35 and once the price hits 33.35 your trade is going to take effect but if the price doesn't come to 33.35 your trade is not going to take effect so that's one important one, one cool thing of using um limits so and um, the next session here is the amount this is where you can actually put in the amount that you want to buy so let me, let me make use of markets for example so you put in the amount that you want to buy so let's say i want to buy uh let's say i want to buy uh eight avx so uh, i've done that i put in the amount eight so now to set stop loss you need to click on this enable this once you enable this it's going to pop up this screen so now you're going to see the um, take profit um, price so you're going to put in your take profit price which is here so you just you can actually put in the take profit value if you need take profit value or you can eat this plus icon to just increase the profit so i'll just increase my roi my roi a little bit to about seven percent increase my stop loss to maybe one percent or two percent so um, i think this is um good so i'll just do add and now i've added this particular um take profit and uh, stop loss you can always edit it by clicking on this edit icon right here you can edit it and you'll be able to edit it so if you click on long this trade is going to take effect and it's going to trigger instantly right it's going to trigger instantly right so that's it guys on how to go ahead and do margin trading that's it guys on how to go ahead and set stop loss and also set um, take profits when it comes to trading on cx.io and it's also important for you to always conduct your technical analysis so um, conduct technical analysis and also don't forget to do the risk management if you can actually risk two dollars for a particular trade set two dollars if you can actually risk um if you can actually risk ten dollars set it to ten dollars but that's it guys on how to go ahead and set stop loss and take profits on my um cx i hope you found your video really helpful and if you did kindly like this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video